Today is a pretty big day. There's a lot of work that needs to be done down at the gym. I need to pour some climbing holds. We need to prep for the competition that we're having tomorrow, which should be a pretty fun competition. A lot of times when I have a big day, it really helps to write it down. Also, I typically reserve my recording till kids are not around because they're a pretty big distraction and they don't know how to be uh, quiet. But this morning, there's just too much going on. And I have donut-faced little girls running around here. So, I've got my bullet journal here. Writing down a list in your bullet journal can actually really help you organize and, and see what you need to do. So this is yesterday and today. We'll, we'll just go ahead and hit those up. This is something that I do. I don't know if there's any other hobbyist shapers or shapers or people that, that manufacture climbing holds because they are starting to be different in the industry now. Uh, I don't know if they do this. I don't know if they have a leveling board, but I find that this is really uh, important in how I pour holds. It allows me to reduce the amount of sanding at the end of the day and also ensures that the bolt holes that are coming through the hold are perpendicular or more perpendicular with the flat surface that they're going to be bolted to the wall, which I think is a very important in the function of the hold. So I've got my leveling board out here. It's really simple. It's three quarter inch plywood. It's got some T-nuts on the back side with screws in each hole. So I take my, my level. I would love to have a, a bubble level for a flat surface, but I don't have that. I'm going to go ahead and just set this level here and level it up. Let's see. Yeah, it's good that way. Let's see. Woo, really high over here. Bolt rolled under there. That's going to make a difference. Okay, make sure that all four points are solid. That's still level. Okay, so now we're good to go. We can start throwing the hole or the molds back on here. This is a hold that I just shaped recently. I've only actually poured this one time. I've only been able to pour it one time. Uh, so today is going to be the first day that we're going to pour it with color. Paddle boards for climbing walls or climbing wall training that I'll show you here. And these holds fit on that paddle board exceptionally well and we have a lot of requests for them down at the gym so I need some of these as well. What I do here to prolong the life of my mold is I use a dowel system for the bolt hole. And this is something that I've seen that helps make it last longer. I've actually done this for a very long time. So we will put that guy right there. Okay, put that guy there. And we also definitely want to pour this guy. This is a new hold as well. Separating, that's not cool. This starts the clock. I have about two minutes. you scrape the bottom mix it until it's a nice smooth color and you gotta hurry you gotta hurry I'm trying to hurry right now you can also keep your hand on the side of the container you're mixing if it ever starts to get slightly warm you gotta 
you're done. Like it's starting to pop. And if you don't get pouring, you're gonna waste all of it. So let's get this in the molds to hope for the best. Let's bring this guy down. Let's build. Yeah, I did it. It's time to put this baby out. Just take your time. Don't don't try to rip it out of there. Oh yes. Oh, check this out. Come look at this hold bear. <laughs> Forgiveness of all my sins. Okay, so the road noise here is super bad, which is really unfortunate because we had a great conversation. What I'm talking about here is making a bank run because we have $3.20 in our business bank account. If you know business, you know that that is not a good thing. So I actually have not done a cash deposit from our cash sales at the gym in over a month. So I'm able to put in a little bit of money that's hopefully going to keep us going with our business expenses. All right, I got some new chalk bags for the gym. We're down to three of the Craigs. I like the Craigs uh, because of their fun style. So they have some really cool styles. This black and white mountain one here. Oh, this, this is super colorful mountain. This mountain scape. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. This is, this is sick. Samurai, Samurai Warriors. We'll have a new stock of uh, chalk bags here at the gym. Let's count those up. We use Rock Gym Pro to keep track of all of our sales and quantity. So now we need to enter that. What's the quantity that we have in stock? It's in the top right. Quantity down here, three. Okay, that's correct. So add restock. And hit okay. And then what's the quantity on hand? Eight. Beautiful. Lovely. Now it's time to get out and do some drywall mudding. All I'm doing here is I'm applying a joint compound to the wall to make it look just a little bit more smooth after it's painted. Now, if you would like to know how to mix a joint compound fairly easy. I've learned quite a bit over the last few days and I would love to make a video for you, but comment down below if you'd like to see that and I will make you a short tutorial video on how to mix joint compound.
Now it's time to do some flooring. I've already made a video on this, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I'll leave a link for that video down in the description below. There is one thing that I've noticed in making these smaller pads versus the big flooring that I did for the climbing gym, and that is when you wrap individual pads or make individual pads, your seams that are welded together have a better chance of survival because there's less stress on them. So one's done. Oh. Yeah. It is 11.30. Been going all day. I was able to get some good work done today. Poor holds. Yes, I did. Scripture study with the family. Yes. Shoot a vlog. I'm doing that right now. I'm finishing it up. Sand the wall. Yes. Mud wall. Prep for a comp. Did that because I have amazing employees that helped me with that. Here's a relatively unknown quote from Booker T. Washington that I think every leader should know. Do not do that which others can do as well. Something that I need to apply a little bit more myself. Thank you so much for your support. Through the Amazon links that I leave at the bottom of my video, that gives me a small sales commission that I can put back into the videos that I'm doing and back into my experience that I'm sharing with you. And I just wanted to thank you for that. Also, I'm starting to get climberdad.com up and running. Right now I'm going through a, a blog site. Hopefully that will transition over to a regular site soon, but you know, there's a lot of things that are happening and that's on the back burner. I think that's a good day's work and a good day's work feels good. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what was one of the things that you liked about this. If this video has helped you out, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I'll see you next time right here on Climber Dad.